Tonight, a one on one with the head of the CDC as questions surround a new variant of COVID-19 that now represents at least a third of the cases in the United States. NBC 10's Lauren Make sat down with Dr. Rochelle Walensky today about that and what's ahead. Lauren, what did you learn? Jacqueline, Dr. Rochelle Walensky says in the coming weeks, this variant will likely be in the majority of cases in the U.S. We spoke as she visited a lab at Princeton University and as big decisions are in the works for how the U.S. will handle the next phase of the pandemic. Come on in. Hi. Hi. Thank you. The head of the CDC visiting New Jersey two years after the country's battle against COVID began. This pandemic is not yet over. I sat down with CDC Director Rochelle Walensky today as most mask rules have lifted in the U.S., but as health officials are keeping an eye on a variant spreading. How concerned should we be about this variant? So let me just tell you a little bit about what we know about BA2. She says BA2 is essentially a sister of Omicron, more transmissible but not causing more severe illness. It does look like if you originally had Omicron that you're pretty well protected against BA2. Protected from getting the virus at all or protecting from protected from getting very sick? Um, so far, we have seen a lot of protection from getting the virus at all, but we do know that it might wane. And so we, you know, we're cautious and we say for now. That variant spreading as federal health officials discuss how to handle another booster dose of a vaccine, with both Pfizer and Moderna looking for authorization. Dr. Walensky says a decision on what to recommend could come in the next month. I don't think we're too far away. And also what's happening in the weeks ahead is some discussion about what the fall will look like. Potentially another booster of some kind. Are you talking about a fifth shot? For some people perhaps, or for some people maybe just a fourth. So those are all the discussions. Do people warrant, do some people warrant a boost right now? Those who are most vulnerable who got um, their original boost four and five months ago. Um, and what does the fall look like for people who might not warrant a boost right now? The director also arguing that to be ready for future cases, the CDC needs money from the billions of dollars the White House is requesting in COVID funding. If that funding does not come through, if it's not approved by Congress, will the government have the money to buy boosters? Um, for the fall, no, that, that those resources are at risk. The, and so the, what we, would happen? There is a real urgency right now in this moment, and so we is are... Is it no funding, no boosters? I mean, is that... Well, certainly the science will continue to move forward. Um, much of the science will continue to move forward. Not all of it, and it certainly won't move as quickly. Um, we will, you know, continue to make some recommendations about what should be done, but the resources in order to buy them for the American people, in order to deliver them to the American people, we've already started those cutbacks. Is it possible that people would have to pay for them? If that, that is one possibility. Now, the White House is also pushing for that money, more than $22 billion on Capitol Hill with visits there by officials this week. Republicans, including Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey, have been skeptical about whether more money is needed. I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News.